Hey Vinod, what's up? Why are you looking dull? Hello Jacqueline. Actually I was going through previous year's questions of net environmental science and I found that questions from micro and macronutrients are one of the frequently asked questions. Okay, that's good. But what's the problem in that? There are actually 20 elements in both the categories and I am often confused among them. No need to worry Vinod. I will help you with one easy trick. So, now listen to me carefully. So, first of all, let's know what are essential nutrients for plants. So, plants require light, water, and about 20 elements found in the nature to support all their biochemical needs. So, those biochemical needs can be growth, reproduction, and nutrition. So these elements which are 20 in number are called essential nutrients. So essential nutrients hone ke liye teen criteria hai qualify karne ke liye. So what are these three criteria? Let's see. So these are the three important criteria which an element must have to become an essential element for plant. So number 1 is a plant cannot complete its life cycle without that element. So let's see what is the second criteria? The second criteria is no other element can perform the function of that element. That means there is no other option other than that element. So it is not that if aluminium is not present, copper can do that work. So it is not like that. Number three is the element is directly involved in plant nutrition. So वो जो element है वो plant के nutrition के लिए directly involved होना चाहिए ना कि indirectly. If some element is having these three criteria, then it is called as essential element. So let's see what are their names. So this is the list of all the 20 essential elements for a plant. So these 20 elements are divided again into two major categories. So what are these? These are macronutrient and micronutrient. So macronutrients are the nutrients which are required in more amount in plant. and micronutrients are required in less amount so these macronutrients they constitute about greater than 0.5 g per kg of the plant dry weight but micronutrient they constitute about less than 0.5 g per kg of the plant dry weight so let's see what are the micronutrients macronutrients are carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus potassium sulfur calcium magnesium and also silicon is considered next comes the micronutrients so micronutrients which are required in less quantity are iron manganese copper zinc molybdenum boron chlorine nickel and sodium and cobalt are also essential element but these 17 excluding silicon sodium and cobalt are the important ones so let's see how to remember all these elements in both the categories So there are very simple mnemonics to remember micro and macronutrients for plants. Yes, for micronutrients you just have to remember Moni Kaul Bhuvan Fekumanjan. So we all know Bhuvan Bam which is a famous YouTuber. So from his name we will be able to remember these things. So what we will do is just simply write Moni Kaul Bhuvan Fekumanjan and from mo part of Moni we will remember molybdenum from ni it will detect the nickel from kal it will be chlorine from bhuvan it will be boron that is the b alphabet from fe it will be iron and copper will be ku similarly manzan will be manganese and zinc so just repeat this for three times and i bet you will be able to remember the micronutrients for all throughout your life now comes the macronutrient part so let's see what is the mnemonic for macronutrients So to remember macronutrient you have to remember one thing that is chop kings ka maggi yes we all know that kings maggi it is very popular so you have to remember chop kings ka maggi so how you will be able to remember macronutrients from chop kings ka maggi as we did in the previous micronutrient mnemonic here also we will write down chop kings ka maggi then what happens is from c it will be carbon h hydrogen o oxygen p phosphorus k potassium N nitrogen, S sulfur, calcium is Ca, and Mg is Mg. So magnesium will be for Mg. So this is very simple. I guess you all will be able to remember micro and macronutrient, and you will be never 
get confused when question comes from this okay guys if you like this give a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel so see you in our next video